Hello again, I am Blunty. This roguish fellow is Slitty, and this is a six-part series of his adventures, and mostly mine, as I, a complete and utter newbie to World of Warcraft, and MMORPGs in general by the way, attempt to learn the simplest of things and familiarise myself with the basics in anticipation of playing the new but still quite old and hotly anticipated World of Warcraft Classic Edition launching, or relaunching, at the end of August. I am helped in my adventure by friends from my Twitch stream, both with me in-game and in the chat room answering my questions as I recorded all this live. I've edited it down to show more of what I learned along the way and less focused on the actual direct game progress. And with that, I hope you sit back and relax and maybe help me out even more in the comments. But this episode is called Unstoppable Newbie Monster. Er, hello there. I bet this is something you never thought you'd see. Unless you've been paying attention to me at all in the last two or three weeks as I get more and more excited about the thought of trying out WoW Classic. This isn't it. I'm not in the beta, just in case you're confused. Uh, but I decided to give WoW as it exists a try. Partly to familiarize myself with the basics of the UI, combat, you know, the, the base level stuff. I know a lot has changed. I'm not an idiot, uh, but familiarizing myself with some of this stuff will help me more quickly adapt to Classic on day one, I feel like. And it'll give me a frame of reference to see what the experience is like uh, between starting as a newbie today and starting as a newbie if I'd time traveled back 15 years and did it then with the same sort of headspace I have for these type of games now. What server are you setting? Oh, this, uh, yeah, I did make a note of the server over here because I f forget the name. Um... Nagrand. Nagrand? Nagrand. 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 Nagrand? Nagrand. That doesn't help much. What does it rhyme with? Let's just see if Slitty is taken. I've taken so long my mouse has gone to sleep. Fuck it, we can just be Slitty. How is that not taken? Uh, yeah, I meant playing Human Rogue, by the way. Alliance. Obviously. Obviously. Need help? Alright, beating them back. So, you're the new recruit from Stormwind, eh? And Marshal McBride, commander of this garrison. Glad to have you on board. McBride looks through some papers. Slitty! Is it Slitty, right? So glad I could get this Slitty name. How's that not taken? Uh, you've arrived just in time. The uh, Black Rock Orcs have managed to sneak into Northshire through a break in the mountain. My soldiers are doing their best. Uh, they can to push them back, but I fear they will be overwhelmed soon. Head northwest into the forest and kill the attacking Blackrock Wargs. Help my soldiers. Kill six of them. Get a runner's belt. Light bless you. Okay. North, Miss Tesmaka. North. Uh, real characters in blue. Yeah. Already picked up on that. Yellow is. Passive until attacked. Red is dangerous if you go near. Is that too loud? Tell you what, it took a while to get used to this movement mechanic last night. It's super weird. The way the camera moves and the way you can left click to move the camera, but right click to move your your turning. Um, and and how Q and E were were t were. Uh, like Q and E were strafe and A and D were uh, keyboard turn and everything. I had to I had to immediately change all that. So now I've got A and D on strafe, and I'm doing most of my camera work with right mouse button. And Q and E are unbound at the moment. I'm sure they'll come in handy for a hot bar at some point. I don't know how the rest of you do it, but oh, that's weird. I was hitting the wrong button. Uh, you get to play well, you get to play well, you get to play well. Yeah, this is not classic, by the way. Just in case it's not obvious. Uh, I just decided to familiarize myself uh, with the basic controls of the game before classic came, so I could not fumble too much in my first hour or two of classic. You know what I mean? So I, I could know, that, you know instinctively that C is from a character sheet, M is from map, and how I want my movement controls set up, how I want my hotbar set up. Let's just do a few extra, just for the XP. Why not? And also this stuff. Greetings. Take the runner's build. Oh wait. 
have to click there. See, this is the kind of stuff I'm talking about, getting clumsy with the interface, because all this is pretty much the same <clears throat> in Classic, I believe, the, the way this interface works. So just getting used to this stuff is good for me. For the Alliance. Except. All right, I've already gone through these tutorials with the other characters, so they're not going to pop on me this time. So we'll just, what is it, right click? Right click to equip, there we go. Yeah, this, this guy's doing an excellent job at hiding. Look at that stealth mode right there. Hi. Worst spy ever. Um, wait, what's the celebra- Ding! That's what they call it in this game, isn't it? I dinged! Ding, fries are done. Ding, fries are done. I love that death animation. <laughs> it's beautifully melodramatic. Just to get me to consider, I avoid Rails, I love second game. Easily sync home to of Skyrim. Yeah. I was the same way for a long time. Uh, when I started thinking about WoW. After a while, I just didn't bother with WoW because I thought, ah, oh, it's just too, it's just too much to catch up on. That's why I'm interested in Classic, because it's starting from scratch, basically. Um, yeah, for a long time I was like, no, I don't want to fall into one of those life second games. But then I realized I was already putting hundreds, literally hundreds of hours into every single Pokemon release for a start. Um, hey, I was targeted, okay, bitch. Not to mention, you know, the other games I would sync uh, high double digit or triple digit numbers into, you know, 80 plus hours through a single player story gameplay and, and hundreds of hours into other stuff. So I thought, yeah, you know what? That's, that's not really a good excuse anymore. And Dauntless. I'm easily in triple digits in Dauntless by now. Um, so yeah, that's that's uh, kind of not an excuse to me. Plus, as a as a good game to stream, because as you can see, some of the stuff you do in this game, you can just do on sort of autopilot. Some of this grindy stuff, which gives me a lot of time to talk to chat. So it's a good uh, stream game. What the shit? How are there motorbikes in this game? Uh, S for say, isn't it? Um, oh wait, is that you fish? <laughs> I didn't even know there was... I thought all the mounts were just animals and shit. Oh, except for that there's a robot... Chocobo looking thing, isn't there? Mount for low levels. Low level characters get a fucking motorcycle. Jesus. This game has changed. Because I've been focusing on learning about Classic. Um, and what I know from Classic is you don't even get a mount to level 40. And it costs like 100 gold. Unless you've got like super duper reputation or something. What is that purple thing? Why are they dizzy? Who's doing that? Keep seeing that happen. But I don't see anyone nearby casting it. Are they just tired? It's been a long day. Excellent work, Slitty. I think I might have to keep the name Slitty for my character in Classic. I do have some options just in case it's taken before I get there. <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> it's wheeling in. Awesome. Um, excellent work, Slitty. You've turned out to be quite an asset to this garrison. It's time for you to train Spy Master's legs. Boink. Bag. Equip. Received an urgent message from Sergeant Willem. Turns out that the Blackrock Orcs have hired goblin assassins. Alright, I killed a bunch of those by accident. Alright, north of the Abbey, which is this way. Well, I, do have, I, know, I know I have a quest marker, but quest markers aren't a thing in Classic, so I'm trying to get out of the habit of relying on them and actually looking where I'm going. Because <laughs> that'll bite me in the ass too if I get into that lazy habit. It's called Sap. Oh wait, that's an ability I get, isn't it? That's a, that's a rogue's uh, ability. Yeah, I, I hear cool things about Sap. Like, you use sap, and you go around behind them and use backstab for big damage or something, right? That's the technique I've been seeing. Hey there. Didn't expect that voice. Hey there! We've seen a goblin slitty. They need to learn that nobody messes with the Alliance! Killed eight goblin assassins. See you later. With some gloves. Holy shit, there's a dragon! <laughs> Bye, dragon! See a wish dragon? Didn't look like a wish dragon. So I did I, I did this last night, but I had no idea why. I was just following the quest markers. Go here, press this button. Done. <laughs> but now I know why. 
Wait, how did I do this last night? Oh, I just clicked on him. Okay, never mind. Thought I had to equip it. I did click on him, but I guess I right clicked on him as a target instead of left clicking. What does being in a group do as far as experience and loot and stuff do? What was that? I got some sort of buff. Rejuvenation. Healing 41 for every three seconds. Nice. I mean, I don't need it right now, but that was nice anyway. Classic, it is the only way to share a kill. Yeah. So that means I can loot stuff you kill? Is there... Uh, is loot instanced, or is it literally just... I guess it's not instanced, is it? It's literally you have to share it. Like if I take that two copper, you don't get that two copper. Uh, you share XP, you progress together through shared quests, and you split... Oh, so you do split cash. So each of us got one copper for that. It's all my... Log is telling me is you loot two copper. Sometimes I have to click on them before I can attack. Sometimes I don't. It's weird. They're just showing off. You had the black one target. Oh, did I still have something else targeted? That was okay. Um, it's tab, isn't it, to switch targets? No, it doesn't seem to be working. Oh wait, no, it is. It is. It is. Is there a way to switch the nearest target? I don't think I remember seeing a key binding for that. Uh, I think you now understand the power of the lights! Light give us hope, brother, and the light shall take it from the darkness. Blessed be the lights. Alright, so now I have what? Ten armor! Hooray! I'm invincible! Oh, definitely doesn't target the closest thing. For some reason that wolf in front of me was ignored, and I targeted the soldier instead. There are some cool mounts in this game. I can show you the world. Oh, I can't get on it. <laughs> now I've got 12 armor! Unstoppable monster! The way I understand it is my first mount, if I'm human, it's just gonna be a horse, right? Just just a horse. King's honor, friend. Uh, with your help, we have managed to secure the northern and western sectors of Northshire. We still have a rather large contingency of black orcs to the east. They've begun burning down the forest. Ooh. Cool horse. Wait, what? It shrinks? Or was that some sort of glitch? <laughs> this game's weird. Fuck! Satan's chasing me! Does look a lot like the South Park Satan. I actually watched the uh, South Park World of Warcraft episode last night. I was in a moat. Okay. Oh wait! There's something I've been meaning to try. What is it? Train? Makes me laugh. <laughs> Just looking at me and dying. <laughs> I got Satan on my side. Nothing worse than an auction house full of people doing that train emote. Oh! Oh, so it's something people used to troll. Uh, I've, only, I've seen it a few times in some classic gameplay I've been watching. For the, um, I saw it, the first time I saw it was a gnome f uh, female. And whoever did the voice acting for it made it sound super fucking cute. So I've been down to try it. How did you... Stop doing weird stuff. It's baffling me. Fucking hell. Okay. Whatever buff this is, it's ridiculous. 
So I was having to stab these guys like six or seven times last night when I was running through this area. And now they're just, I'm just god mode. It's ridiculous. Oh, there we go. Is it runoff? Or is that you sneakily coming in behind me? Yeah, this, this stuff is... At least I think the quest lines are very, very similar in Classic. There's a few differences that I've already picked up on... Uh, like... What's his name? Gold, Goldtooth, I think? He's on, like in a completely different location to where I saw it in Classic ga gameplay I was looking at. Uh, I was watching someone play through the first hour or so of Classic. Um, yeah, Goldtooth in Classic is buried at the back of a mine. You have to fight your way to get to him. In the current version, he's just sort of sitting out in the open. You can just walk up and stab him in the head. It's like, why would you do that? I was, I was about to ask why I'm not picking up any more weapons, but I guess I got all the weapons I need, so they're not dropping any more of them. Just your first ever hour of playing. Um, for stream, yeah. I played a little bit last night. Uh, to familiarize myself with the controls and the interface, so I wasn't sort of super clumsy and really frustrating you guys with my absolute noobness. Uh... And so I could ask ask better questions. Played for three hours total last night. I intended to play for an hour, but three hours later I was like, oh, okay. Got to level eight. Similar character. Looked almost identical to this. I think I chose a different face for this one, but yeah. I liked how it looks. So it looks a bit like me. And I'm full of ego. Hang on a sec, there's something worth knowing. Does fire do damage to me? That'd be a no. Or was that a yes? Did I just burst into flames? Oh, I did take a little bit of damage. I am semi-immune to flames. Yeah, like, some of this is the same as I've seen in, uh... Classic gameplay, some of it's quite different. Same idea anyway. Basically, go here, kill a few of these easy mobs, level up, learn, learn your bit. Will you shush? Get that thing serviced. <laughs> Click on Fisher's bike. Why? Fisher is fabulous major. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Can I... F oh, I can't fire extinguish from the bike. <laughs> I was hoping it just hose out stuff. Oh, wait, it does damage? You can run people over with it? Excellent. I can't, I can't stab anything from the sidecar. How do I get out? I don't know how to get out. I could destroy the bike. That'll work. Bless your hearts, Liddy. You are truly a hero of the Alliance. The land is completely incinerated and there is nothing left in the vineyard but ash and debris. Still might be able to recover, right? How bad can it be? Grape picking sack. Weinstein cloak. See you later. Zerp. How do I equip the sack again? Oh, I just click on it. Right. Yeah, because these are the backpack. Extra bag container things, aren't they? You can get bigger bags. This is six, six slot. Okay. Mmm. Mmm. Room temperature McDonald's coffee. Oh. Well met. Uh, I have regrets about that. Have you killed the rampaging orc hordes? Yes, I have. Like our orcs will surely fall now that their main force has been defeated. Gee. That looks like a Pokemon, that one. Possibly a Digimon with all the armor on it. Rampaging Orc Horde is led by a savage beast known as Kurtok, the Slayer. Kurtok is responsible for the recent invasion and must be killed if we are to have peace in the valley. Venture back east, across the river, through the vineyard, and look for the passage leading to the mountains. Kurtok will be there, preparing for another assault. Kill him! Turn to me. My undead horse is a better mount. Undead horse. Does it look like a zombie horse from Minecraft? If it doesn't, is there a mod I can do to make it look like it? Un Sorry. Actually, there's a thought. Are there any 
client side graphics mods. We talk this way. Leap, leap, can just don't 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 kill steel. I want to I want to see if I can just take this guy out. Never mind. <laughs> I'm the most powerful noob ever. Uh, easy to carry. <laughs> <laughs> Wait! Oh, how do I get that one? Because that looks like Battle Cat from He-Man. Is that a mount I can have? Is that a turtle? Awesome. Snapping turtle. Love it. want that too. Um, the water looks so much better now than it did back in the day. The original water looks hideous. This looks so much better. I mean, it still looks like crap. This is some of the worst video game water ever. Uh, by today's standards, but it looks so much better than classic water. <laughs> Turtles are Pandarian mounts. Ah, so they definitely won't be in Classic. Look at it go! Look at the animation! That's so cute! Uh, yeah, what about Battle Cat? Did you, did you answer me? Uh, yes, you can get the Battle Cats. Awesome! I'll play Classic until I get bored with Classic or fed up with Classic or have to wait to new content and then go back to this. I don't know what's going to happen. I love the cut! It's got like this Hanna-Barbera cartoon noise when he pops out. Do it again. Yeah, it's got the old Flintstones. <laughs> this is a super weird game. Sometimes it's like super serious and other times it's just idiotically cartoonish. I love it. Very cool horse. I like the armor on that, actually. The arm looks really good. I'm not sure about the wispy wings. The uh, sort of low poly 2D texture wrap that uh, Warcraft deals with doesn't make the wings look as cool as they could, but... That armor looks badass. With good dog slain! <laughs> yeah, one hit. I'm awesome. Uh, we are once again... Uh, safe friends again from the Orcish Hordes. I will send peasants to the past in an attempt to seal the passage so that no more orcs may come through to our territory. You have our thanks. Uh, I'm gonna go... What is that? On my face. Dagger. Slitty, you are a rogue with a proven interest in the security of Norsha. You are now tasked with the protection of the surrounding Elwyn Forest. If you accept this duty, I have prepared papers that must be delivered to Marshal Dugan. Allows the southern road past the border gates. Take... Shush! I was screaming. Uh, take Marshal McBride's documents over to Elwyn Forest. Yada yada yada. For the accept. Alliance. For the Alliance. <laughs> you guys are just showing off at this point. All right, ah, Crypt, yes. the cool dagger. That's where I'm at now. 15 armor, 24, 23 agility to stamina thing. I've got militia dagger in the main hand, worn dirk in my off hand. I've got my wine stand cloak, got my other little dirty vest. Time for adventure. <gasps> lava corgi! I need a lava corgi in my life. See that? He wants to come with me too. Look at him. Can I pet it? Proud of me. Type in slash silly. So, an orc walks into a bar with a parrot on his shoulder. The bartender says, hey, where'd you get that? The parrot says, Duratar, they got them all over the place. I have seen someone else playing a rogue who was... Actually, no, they were playing with someone who was a rogue. I think the same guy I mentioned before, actually. He was in a... running a dungeon, and the rando he was running with playing a rogue was just constantly telling jokes.